Welcome to another DK Custom Products video. I'm Dwayne and this is Kevin. Today we're making one of the most important videos we've ever made. Now, believe it or not, there are still people out there that don't believe a Hurley runs too hot. They don't believe those high temperatures are detrimental to performance or engine life. But before we get into why those people are wrong, we'd appreciate if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It would really help us out. Yeah, and the thing is, you hear it, I hear it. My bike runs at 270, 280, 290, 320, and it runs just fine. The other thing we hear is, Harley knows what they're doing. Their engineers know what they're doing. Right. They wouldn't make a bike that yeah. was running too hot. Yeah, and you know, you guys, you guys are just preaching doom and gloom. You know, the engine's not going to melt down and right. this and that, this and that. Now, it's not just about the health of the engine because a lot of people are of the mindset that, well, I'm not going to keep this bike long enough. It's the next guy's problem. You know, I'll trade it in. You know, let it be somebody else's problem. Well, you're not doing yourself any favors by robbing performance. Right. I mean, people spend all kind of money to increase their performance, but they don't pay any attention to heat, and all they're doing is nullifying right. the it's money that they spent in increasing compression, right. different heads, different exhausts, One whatever. step forward, two steps backwards. Right. So we've done a whole series of videos on how and why to cool down your twin cam and Milwaukee 8 engine. We'll put that playlist is up in the corner. Now this is all information we really already knew. We got it printed out on paper, you know, right. what the exact numbers are and how performance degrades as heat elevates. Yeah, and, and we knew it, we've done tests before and we've had just a ton of questions and a ton of people say, oh, it doesn't matter. Since we came out with the why and how to cool down your twin cam and M8 mm -hmm. engines. And so we said, well, we're gonna do some video and some dyno charts showing right. how it works. Right, now as you guys know, we recently had access to a mobile dyno machine here at DK Custom, and we put a 2021 Milwaukee 8 to the test. Turn the fans off, and you know, as you can see in the video, it's on cruise right now. Temperatures are elevating, kind of mimicking sitting in traffic. It's a lot, a lot of what this is like. Yeah, and a few things before we get into these charts. Number one, if you can put up on the screen, Dwayne, what Harley says the normal operating temperature of oil is. Directly from the manual. Directly from the manual. 230 degrees. We're also going to put a link to a video up here where we talk about what's the optimum temperature for Sportsters, what's the optimum temperature for twin cams, and what's the optimum temperature for Milwaukee 8s because it is different. But ideally, you do not want to see the engine or oil temperature going above 230 on a twin cam. Right. Because when you go above 230, you're going to start having problems with power and you're going to start having problems with accelerated wear. On a Milwaukee 8, it's 230 degrees for the oil is the mm -hmm. same, but because the temperature sensor is in a different location, you're generally going to see 250 to 270 mm -hmm. is the normal operating temperature for a Milwaukee 8. And something else I want to make very clear, this is not as hot as this bike can get. Keep in mind, this was a loner, so we didn't want to get it as hot as it could possibly get, but we did let it idle until it got up to temperatures we felt were detrimental. Right. And we were going to go to 280 degrees and then do a dyno run. At 270 degrees, the engine cut power. I actually thought that he took it off of cruise control. He did not take it off of cruise control. The engine just cut power. Uh, the engine said, nope, and it started high. bogging down. the two poles. This first pole, the top line, the red line, produced 82 maximum horsepower and 112 
maximum torque. And so you see that's a nice line there. And then the same bike, the only difference is instead of being at 210 degrees, was at 270 degrees, and the maximum power was 80, and the maximum torque was 103. You can see how much power it pulled. Mm -hmm. Now, let's just take a second. For those people who are still doubting that these engines should not run hot, why would Harley pull power at 270 degrees on this bike? And how did they pull power? They retarded the timing. Mm -hmm. Okay, why would they do that? Because they know it's too hot. <laughs> they yeah. know that. They know it's too hot, and they're doing what they can to cool it down. And how many people have we talked to over the last couple years who said 300, 320, 340 is what my bike runs at? So, I mean, it's just crazy how many people think their bike's okay. They run. This bike ran. Yeah. This bike uh, produced 103 foot-pounds of torque at 270 degrees, but it was, you know, nine foot-pounds less than it produced when it was at optimum. Yeah, a, a, noticeable, a noticeable difference. And it's worth noting, this is a water-cooled model, which, again, a lot of people think they don't need any additional cooling components. It's water-cooled. <laughs> right. And the other thing is we were going to go up to 310 and see how much more it pulled. Mm -hmm. But this was not our bike. This was a <laughs> right, customer's bike. Right. And we weren't going to take it up that hot and cause accelerated damage to the engine. So we did not get what reduction in power there would be at 310 degrees. But it would have been even more yeah. than it was at 270 degrees. Now, a twin cam, same story but different numbers, mm -hmm. 230 oil you don't want to see the engine temperature go above 230. It goes above 230, you're going to start losing um, viscosity power. and right. uh, you know lubrication yeah. properties. And, and you're going to have accelerated wear. So this red line shows the uh, max torque, the max horsepower on a twin cam at 210 degrees. We then let that bike run up to 280 degrees and then we did a pull and look at what happened i mean we're talking over a 10 over like a 12 13 percent drop in torque and horsepower and not only did it drop but you saw it got way more jaggedy than this one too way more jaggedy because it was just having problems at that temperature and that's 280 and People all the time are telling us their bike runs fine at 280. And it does. It'll go down the road yeah, fine. Yeah. But look at how much power you're giving up. And think about why are you giving up that power? You're giving up that power because two things are occurring. Harley is pulling timing because mm -hmm. they're trying to cool it down. And all the tolerances are getting loose. That oh, The metal is expanding. The tolerance is getting loose. And you're just getting less efficiency out of the engine. So you have less power and then of course you have the way accelerated wear right. and tear. So at the very beginning of this video I said that this is probably one of the most important videos we'll ever make. And one of the reasons it's the most important video is because you know a lot of the a lot of the benefits of cooling the bike are relative. You know, someone may not find that it's uncomfortably hot. You know, and some people may not keep their bike long enough for it to, to have the detrimental effects on engine life. But the immediate result of the engine getting too hot is an immediate reduction in power. That's that's the definitive truth. That's just the way it is. And it's so easy to get a Harley up to those temperatures, but it's also easy to prevent that. Oil cooler, air cooling components, electric fans. There's so many different things out there to help prevent that performance <laughs> degradation. Tank lift, defle air deflector wings, you know, capture that headwind, send it to the engine. The rear engine cylinder, starving for airflow. There are ways to get more air to the engine cylinder in the rear. There's a lot of things you can do to prevent these issues. Right, so it's a really simple problem mm -hmm. that doesn't have one answer. There's a lot of different things you can do to cool it down. The important thing that I hope you see from the excerpt that Dwayne put up in the beginning, we'll put it up again right now, normal operating temperatures, 230 degrees. Right. Okay, and then we see Harley definitely pulling power at 270, 280. 
it's just not good for the engine to run that hot. It doesn't produce as much power. It's less comfortable because it's radiating right. more heat. And the engine is wearing out at an accelerated pace. We'll put a link below. We have a whole sleeper mod section below. And really, keeping your temperature under control is a sleeper mod yeah. because just by keeping your temperature under control, you're not going to lose the 10 to 12 percent power that everybody else out there who's right. not keeping their temperature under control is going to lose. And just by that alone, you you have a performance increase. Right. And I know I keep harping on it, but this was done on a 2021 Milwaukee 8. Harley's latest cool twin cooled Harley's latest and greatest technology. And there's still a heat issue. Right. So if you guys have any input on the subject matter, as always, leave us a comment below. Y'all ride safe out there.